Breakfast ready. Simon, we thought you'd been abducted by aliens. The twins? My grandchildren. Because they're identical, they've always had a real fascination for the extraterrestrial. Oh, no, Rusty's tired. Shh. Don't even Stop them. That was close. How come they suddenly went away like that? What did they want? Well, they asked me if you'd been here, if you'd contacted me. And what did you say? Yes. I said I hadn't seen a soul all week. You think I led them here? Showed them where you were? Well, how else would they have known where to look? Why did you let us stay here? I told you we couldn't trust her. Look, ask yourselves this. Why would I take the trouble to contact the feds, drag them all the way down here, only to then keep you hidden. I suppose there is that. And it was Stanich who called them off. Yeah. Hi, Mum. It's Shona here. I guess if you're watching this tape, then something's happened to me. I just wanted to say I miss you. It's your wedding anniversary today and I didn't even leave a card. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the trip and everything. It's just... It's hard for me to know that everything you've had from me today is a lie. I hope everything at home is okay. I really want to call you just now, but I can't. Happy anniversary, Mum. Love to Dad. Harry, you OK? I just can't believe Stanchi's guys finding us here was a coincidence. I mean, if it wasn't you that tipped her off, it must have been one of us. One of us is a traitor. That's a pretty serious accusation. I'm worried. If I start hazarding guesses, throwing around accusations, I'm going to split the group. Damaged friendships I might not be able to repair. Well, I don't know enough to make a guess about who your spy might be, but things like this, you usually find it's the person you least expect. That'd be me. Can't work this out. If David gave this to the twins, when did he do it? We were with Sarah and David right up until the rescue team arrived. And we never met the twins. Maybe we did meet them and we can't remember. The missing 24 hours. Exactly. Maybe that's when the twins appeared. We have no idea what happened during that time. We have to find the twins. You never know, they might not have had their memories wiped clean. Sarah and David may even be with them. Look, don't pin all your hopes on my grandchildren. They're just little kids, really. Yeah, but they're our last hope. Hey, guys, I'm going into town for a bit. What? Are you stupid? What about the agent? Do you really think Stanich has called them off by now? I just had to get into town, OK? What for? Stop. For the medical kit. Those agents are probably still watching the roads. I know it might be dangerous, but I'm not going to let the feds or whatever control my life. 
If anything's going to happen to me, just let it. I'm coming with you. No, Leon, there's no point in both of us getting into trouble. I'll come to you. Safety in numbers. I see we just get in, get the stuff and get out quick as possible. Yep, here's my list. I'll meet you back here in half an hour. And where are you going? Never mind. We have to stick together. Well, you stay with Chrissy. I'll be back soon. a reunion with your Uncle Ed. Well, if you knew I was lying, why'd you still give us directions? Well, let's just say I work in mysterious ways. <sighs> you've come for a few provisions. And some cans of drink, if you've got some. Oh, don't you worry. I've got just about everything here. Drinks. Great. I think I can help you out with everything. Why did you lie to me yesterday? You kids have something to hide? We just don't want the authorities on our backs. Well, by now, you might have spotted. I run a store. I'm hardly the authorities. Any friend of Ed's? A friend of mine. I just think it's best that you don't know. There's a lot that goes on around here that you learn not to ask too many questions about. Like what? Well, when you live cheek to cheek with the military, you soon stop being inquisitive. The military? What are you saying? I'm just saying be careful what questions you ask and who to. You open too many cans of worms, you end up like those two pilots. Pilot? They wouldn't happen to be helicopter pilots, would they? That's right. One day they're talking about alien contacts and other sorts of crazy stories. A day later, they're gone. Really? Who do you think it is? I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe even me and I don't even know it. How do you mean? I mean, what if when we were abducted, the aliens did something to my mind? I mean, I could have tipped Stanich off without even knowing it. Betraying the group. But, I mean, speculation isn't going to help. Let's go over the UFO settings with a map. I'll read them out, you can mark them down. At least they'll be constructive. Cool. Right. UFO spotted in Batley. There it is. Got it. Next. Strange strolling lights spotted above. Dunny do. Dunny do? Dunny do that? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That was in December. Okay, next. Harry? Mm hmm? You know the other day when you kissed me? Yeah. Look, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. It's just. I really, really... Yes? I don't think it's a good idea for us to get too serious right now. You're right. Exactly right. And we need to focus. Exactly. This isn't because... You don't suspect me, do you, Harry? You don't think I'm the traitor, do you? No, 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 Lucy. I totally trust you. You're not looking at me as if you trust me. Look, I can't stop thinking about it. The fact that someone in the group might be betraying us. What's that you're saying? How long have you been standing there? 
I don't think you should use words like betraying without good evidence. It's just an expression, Si. Harry, no one's working for the feds or anyone else. You need to be careful what you say. Who else would Stanich's guys know where to find us? I'm sorry, I wasn't aware she did find us. She knew when to call her agents off, you know what I mean? No, Harry, I don't know. It was a fluke. She got lucky. I just hope she doesn't get lucky again. Okay, we've got to get back to the others. Are you okay? Not really. What's wrong? I'll tell you all later, okay? We just have to get back to Ed's. So tell me, if one of us is a spy, why didn't they show themselves to Stanich's agents this morning when they had the chance? I don't know. Maybe this person isn't interested in going home. Maybe they want to lead our two, David and Sarah, say. Why? I don't know. Glory, money, arrogance. Harry, it's obvious you don't have any evidence. All you're doing is upsetting Lucy. I'm sorry. Now, I suggest we stop all talks of betrayal. Yeah, it's weird that Stanich's guy turned up this morning. And it's weird that she's still around with the detention centre isn't. But that doesn't automatically mean that one of us is working with her. I suppose you're right. So we work as a team. Trust each other. Guys, listen. Those helicopter pilots didn't just crash. They knew something. Seb told us. I think we should sneak into the military base and investigate. Military base? You must be joking. The Albon camp. That's 25 kilometres northwest from the Paramundi Ridge. That's about eight west from here. I make a farm delivery there once a week. It's a normal military base full of grumbling men who want their leave to come around again. And before you ask, there are no secret hangars containing UFOs that I've heard. Oh, this is crazy. We're going to break into a top security military base to investigate something an old hippie said. Can't you see it's just a conspiracy theorist? We don't know that for sure. This belongs to the twins. I thought you might need it. Wow, radios, binoculars, torches. This is great stuff. Yes, the twins use it on their alien hunts. I gave them the radio so they could radio into me when they went camping. Strange. Why didn't they take all this stuff with them? No, not when they're on holidays, but I'm sure they won't mind you borrowing it. Ed, do you know anything about these pilots? No, not really. But Seb and I differ in our opinions. He believes they've been abducted or something. And you? Troops and chopper crews come and go all the time. They've probably just been posted to another base. Why do I get the feeling you're not convinced by your own argument? I don't think this is a good idea. You can't just march into places like that. It's dangerous. Finally, someone who agrees with me. Don't you see? That's why we've got to take a look. I mean, what if the helicopter pilots are there right now being debriefed? David and Sarah could be with them. What if they're not? What if we're wasting our time going after pilots when we could be getting to the twins? How do we even know the twins know something? Look, we should check out the base. What have we got to lose? Duh, our lives. What else could we do? We've got to check out this base. We owe it to David and Sarah. And may I ask what you'll do if I refuse to help? I suppose I'd just go in anyway, but I'd have to scale really big fences and I'd probably stand a much greater chance of being okay, shot at. Okay, okay, but... enough already. I will take one of you in for ten minutes on my normal delivery, and I mean only one of you. There is no point in us all getting arrested for trespass. So you're going to help us? Well, only because you care about your friends so much. Now, who's going to be the one to run the gauntlet? I'll go. You. I'm the woman for this job. Trust me. It's not very big. <laughs> so when we were on this camping trip from hell, all this was only a few miles away. They don't put it on the local maps. It's like Sector 51, unmarked to preserve military intelligence or something like that. There must be some reason why it's out here. Maybe it's to monitor aliens. Yeah, or maybe it's just some crummy refueling base for trucks on the way to somewhere good. Shut up, Simon. I won't be saying that when I find those pilots in there. Look, just be careful, okay? Get in, take a look, and then get out as quickly as possible. 
wait here until we get back. Or until you hear a siren wailing. Run like the wind. Don't wait for us. We can't just leave you. Well, you have to. If we all get captured, what chance are you finding the others then? Just yet. Still have to get back out. Okay, you've got ten minutes. Go. Well, are you not coming in to look round with me? No, if I deviate from my usual routine, they might get suspicious. It's a Thursday, a rest day. You'll be able to move around quite easily. Okay, Chris girl, stay calm. Everyone's counting on you. Okay. This looks like a good place to start. Contacted us by now. Maybe she can't. Or maybe she doesn't want to. Hey, Harry. Harry, come in, please. This is Chrissy. Go ahead. I'm in the operations room. I've just found a CD marked Paramundi 02103. The label reads Contact with Helicopters, Cockpit Voice Recordings. Well, that's brilliant news. I knew you should find something. about what's bothering you. Sorry, it's just, when we were in town, I found a computer to check my emails. Why did you do that? You found everything. The lags. I didn't email anyone. I just missed my mum and wanted to know if she'd emailed me. And? Not a word. Maybe she didn't want to hassle you. Oh, come off it, Leon. If you checked your inbox, you'd have thousands of emails from your parents. Mine just don't care about me at all. Don't say that. Well, it's true. They're so mad at me for lying to them. When we get home, if we ever get home, I am going to be grounded for the rest of my natural life. Well, you know what you have to do then? What? You have to have the best time while you're here. Face it, if you ignore the facts that our friends are missing, feds are after us, and aliens are trying to abduct us, then we could have a pretty good time together. We're here. Have you found something else? Not something. Someone. Pilots. Evans and Mackenzie. You're joking. But it's not what you think. Tell her to hurry up. Ed's ready to leave. Pilots were killed. Yeah. By Sarah yeah. and David. Okay. Chrissy, you're gonna have to move. Ed is leaving. I repeat, Ed is leaving. Yeah, Go! Come on, Chrissy, move! <sighs> She's 
Just move it, get it! Come on, Chrissy! Come on, Chrissy, come on, Chrissy! What are you doing? There's one question. So that's what happened to the pilots. Killed in action. Doesn't look good for David and Sarah. We need to keep looking. I know. We won't give up. We have to stick to our plan. We need to locate the twins and find out what they know. Maybe David and Sarah with them. Oh, this is so dumb. This is the last place we saw them. If anything, we should stay here. Uh, and that's not dumb, I suppose. That's enough, you two. Just stop it. There's always this. Do you have a computer here, Ed? No. The twins have one, but they've taken it with them. They're with their uncle on the Gold Coast. I'd call them for you, except I only have CB radio. So that's it, then. We go there. <sighs> right. Because of a hunch, we're going to head halfway across Australia to find two kids who probably know less than we do. No way! It's more than a hunch, Simon, and you know it. And how do you know they're more than halfway across Australia? Look, I didn't want to tell you this before. I'm not sure that I believe it anyway. But I can see that really you're a good bunch and this search is tearing you to bits. The twins told me they saw a large craft hover over the ridge. There was a group of people staring up at it. It was us. There was a brilliant light and the group disappeared. Before they knew what was happening, the twins found themselves on board some craft with the group. They were on the alien spaceship. They remember a boy and a girl, particularly. Sarah and David. Well, quite possibly. The four of them were there for quite a long time, and then the twins suddenly found themselves back on Earth, and the craft seemed to simply just vanish. With Sarah and David still on board. Oh, this is rubbish! Why would the twins remember and we don't? I don't know. Because they're twins, they've always been able to communicate in unusual ways. Maybe the aliens couldn't erase their memories like they did yours. So you're saying we've actually been inside an alien spacecraft and I don't remember any of it? Stan it. Hi, Helen, I've got to be quick. Yeah, they, they know more than you think. They found out about the pilots, and now they're on their way to meet the twins. No, they suspected earlier on, but not now. Yeah, everything's fine. It's just like you said. 